When I was younger, I had a strange interest in disco lights. If you look at my really old videos, you can see some behind me. It seems like I still have that interest because I've bought another one. This is an American DJ LED par something or other. I'll tell you when I open it. Plug. Paper. And the box. Here we go. A DJ. Uh, it doesn't even say what it is. Mega Power Profile. So this is a DMX light with 108, I think, LEDs, which can change colour and look cool. And maybe be used for lighting for videos, because it's not great when I record videos at university. And this light is really light and small, and can go with me. So, user instructions, power cable. Oh, it's nice of them to include this the separate plug for the for this country. And the light. Uh, that seems to be everything. So this is really light and small. The, the light is light. Uh, we have some buttons, some input uh, power DMX, power out and DMX out, so you can link lots of these lights together. Uh, in in a long chain IR receiver in in the middle there so you can buy a, a remote control to use with this thing that's an optional extra though if we loosen these we can either fix this to some sort of lighting stand uh, you can stand it up just on the floor you can take this the whole thing off the bottom and just lie it flat uh, you see it has some some rubber feet four of them to do that. So I guess I'll plug this thing in and see how it works. Turns out with that first light, four of the LEDs were broken, but the company I bought it from, Wi-Buy, knew were great about it, phoned them up, next day delivery to give me a replacement and pick that, that one up. So here's the replacement. I know more about what I'm opening this time. The American DJ Megapar Profile. 108 LEDs, sound to light, got a built-in microphone. DMX controllable as well. And once again, we have the light, and of course the UK plug, which you need a screwdriver for, by the way. This time I can give you an unboxing and a review at the same time. This is, it's, okay, I'll start by saying it's very bright, um, but in a spotlight kind of way. It has a 30 degree beam angle, which seems slightly higher than a lot of cheap LED lights. Um, and that means it is going to make a spot on the wall. It's going to make a circle if you shine this at a wall, but the circle is slightly bigger than a uh, one, but this, this is obvious. Now it is the brightest thing ever if you look straight into it. It's like looking at the sun. Otherwise, if you tilt it away from your face, n not so bad. So this is good if you want to light a specific thing up. This is great for up lighting. Um, if you've got these on the floor, you can take this stand off. You could use these as spotlights I guess, um, even just white light you can get by just turning every LED on as long as it's a decent distance away the the red, green and blue merge and make it white. Not so good if it's close up because you can kind of make out the individual colours especially around the edge you get a kind of red glow. It has different modes, it has static colour, it can fade between colours, it can strobe, it can be controlled by DMX, you can have it do whatever you want really um, within the obvious limitations of LEDs and of course being LED it means it doesn't get hot and it lasts thousands and thousands and thousands of hours and the LEDs in theory shouldn't break like a traditional bulb would. Plugging the light in it goes straight to the mode where it just switches between the three colours itself. You can then adjust this um, so it's chooses different colours by mixing the, the different LEDs. I, I know you can't see this very well. Um, you can change it to be a static colour. This is just white and you can see if I shine it straight at the camera it kind of gives you an idea that it's a quite a bright light when you look head on. You can change it to strobe. This is uh, the fastest. I don't think you will be able to see this effect particularly well on the camera. 
You can adjust the drop speed, so that's pretty slow. That wants a second. All the way up, it gets pretty fast. If we take a look at the back, you can see it cycle through the different modes. This one, for example, you can adjust the red, green and blue values manually to get the colour you want. This is the sound to light mode. Every time I hit it, it's making it change colour. It works pretty well generally. You can choose which colours it cycles through. You can adjust the sensitivity. The only option though is to have it always on with a particular colour. You can't have it flash on the beat, for example. That's not an option. I mentioned that the light can be controlled by DMX, so I bought two more things. This is a USB DMX controller interface thing which I found from some Italian guy on eBay. And this is just a long DMX cable. I have the DMX interface connected to a computer with the light connected in the other end. And I found this software on the internet called Vixen, Vixen Lights. It's designed for controlling Christmas lights when people cover the houses, the front of the houses in them. But it works quite well with this light as well if you want to create a sound to light pattern. And basically you get, you get this grid. Um, rolls represent each channel so you get red, green, blue, strobing, etc. And then you just fill in squares. Um, Going along left to right is time, and you can see a waveform of the song associated with this project. I found version 2 is the most reliable at the moment, although it still is not very reliable. It's bad software, but it was the best I could find to do sound to light in this way without paying a lot of money.